Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Good evening. This is Brother Santoshan coming to you with yet another edition of God is Good. You know, we have been discussing about this topic, God is Good, over the past several days now. And uh, for the past few days, we have been discussing about the life of Job. And we have seen several things from his life. And today I want to show you one thing. <coughs> I would like to show you a prayer and I would like to know if you will pray that prayer. This, of course, is a very famous one. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. Remove from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of thy, of my God in vain. You know, this is a prayer. This is a very famous prayer also. But this is where we have to rightly divide the word of God. Before praying that prayer, we have to see a couple of verses. This is uh, Proverbs 30th chapter. I'm reading from the King James Version. And uh, the first verse, he is introducing himself who he is. And second verse, he is telling actually who he is. Surely I am more brutish than any man. Have not the understanding of a man. Two. Number three, I neither learned wisdom nor have the knowledge of the holy. Do you think you will pray his prayer? Is it right? Here he says he is a brutish man. He doesn't have understanding of a man. He did not learn wisdom nor have the knowledge of the holy. What, is, uh, what does it mean by knowledge of the holy? He says that he doesn't know God, basically. Will you pray that prayer? No. And this is how I want to show you the verse in Job. Now let's get back to Job's life. You know, Job's life, you know, here is uh, this word. Yeah, 16th verse. You know, dissension started happening in Job's life, one after the other. And uh, here, 16th words I'm reading, while he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God is fallen from heaven, hath burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. I am, I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Now, let me ask you, fire from heaven fell. Yeah, that is how it was destroyed. But is it the fire of God? Did God send it? No. We know for sure that it is not God who sent that fire to destroy Job's sheep, rather the flocks. So, I mean, when we say that, immediately, you know what people will say? Brother, this is in the Bible, so it must be true. So, did he say that the fire from heaven, you know, fire of God, did he say that? Yes, he really said that. That is why it was dutifully, correctly recorded in the Bible by the Holy Spirit. But is it true? No. We have to divide the word of God in the right manner so that we don't, you know, carry this kind of wrong assumptions about God. Okay? So, please continue to stay with me. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And of course, if you have subscribed, you will get the notifications. If not, please do subscribe. I think there is... Uh, 
bell button or something like that somewhere around this page and you can where you can click it and you can get it subscribed and you will get it on a daily basis and uh, may god bless you and i'll see you tomorrow god willing thank you